sorry, I'm trying to do the ASMR thing of uh, of like doing the finger thing. I don't I don't know what the fuck it does, but apparently it causes tingles, 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 tingles. Anyway, hi everybody. My name is Secret, and uh, today I am going to challenge you to prove something to me. You see, I've been getting a lot of comments recently about how my voice is so nice that you could probably listen to me ramble on about anything, so um, I challenge you to listen to this while I ramble about anything in this particular voice and see how it goes, I guess. Um, today is actually going to be on a topic because obviously I am a, a hypno kinkster and a hypnotist <laughs> and a femme dom, so I am going to talk to you about something that's been on my mind recently about hypnosis. And if you can survive to the end, well, you get a you get a little a little prize and the prize is a potential hypnosis session. We'll see how this goes. But you will have read the description below to see whether or not you win the coveted prize of as much attention as I'm willing to give a hypnosis session to today. So yeah. <laughs> anyway. I think of bringing back secret subject unedited where I just make hypnosis up about random shit. If you want to see that, comment down below. I would be happy to oblige at some point, probably. Maybe. I'm trying not to make any promises in my new era. You see, um, obviously, I've been doing hypnosis now for quite a while. And um, recently, I've been making a giant spreadsheet of all of my previous work. I will add that in the description below, by the way, if you're curious as to what I've been up to for the last like, seven or eight years. <laughs> but because I've been doing this since 2017, it's been quite a long time. And in that long time, I've been, you know, trialing and erroring a lot of stuff, been making a lot of stuff. And now, obviously, I have a lot of skin in the game when it comes to the topic of hypnotic audio recordings because I've made quite a lot of them by now. I think I'm about halfway through. Well, not halfway. I'm like three quarters of the way through my spreadsheet effort and I'm already at 245. <laughs> That's quite a lot, isn't it? <laughs> and, um, so the other day I was I was listening to a podcast about hypnosis and in the podcast um, the hosts were talking about um, all kinds of stuff but they were also talking about quote unquote real hypnosis and not that fantasy role play bullshit <laughs> and it really got me thinking about what does that even mean what is real hypnosis so I thought we could talk about that today. You see, I've made a lot of, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of hypnosis in my time. And I've done sessions with people. Not as many as I've made audio files, to be honest. Because I'm quite shy. I think a lot of people are surprised when they hear that I'm quite shy. But I am. So, <laughs> I like to get to know somebody properly before I hypnotize them. Which I guess comes as quite a shock to some because they assume that as an evil hypnotist, femdom like I am, I go around hypnotizing everybody, including everyone I make eye contact with, and everybody at the supermarket. Which is not true, I'm sorry to burst your bubble. But I think that when it comes to the topic of audio files and roleplay and hypnosis, I think that there is room actually to combine roleplay and hypnosis. I mean, I've been doing it now for a while, and I've had, well, a mixed pack of comments, to be honest. <laughs> but I, I've never had a hypno kingster be like, I'm done with that roleplay crap. Because a lot of people, even though, if, even if they don't love roleplaying and ASMR and things like that, I think there's a lot of people that can get a lot of good out of roleplaying. For example, my first proper foray into role playing was um, a 
a series I did a while ago called BDSM Mystery Girl. So the plot is you meet a mystery girl at a munch, which is a like a BDSM kinky meetup, where you go to a bar and you sit around with kinky individuals, and they tell you all about like their kinky shenanigans. They're very fun, and I've been to a few. But in this particular munch, you meet a girl who never tells you her name. And if she does, I can't remember. <laughs> it's been a long time since I've, I, I don't listen to my own audios. Can you tell? Can you tell? A lot of you know a lot more about my audios than I do, to be honest. And, um, and so anyway, she goes to this meetup and, and she hypnotizes you at the meetup. But the reason why I wanted to make BDSM Mystery Girl was because at the time I was trying to do a lot of kink education. And what I was finding with kink education audio especially was that people love a bit of role play. And I think role playing sometimes helps you work through feelings and thoughts. And so BDSM Mystery Girl was my way of basically giving you a boring old consent chat. But this time with a sexy, sexy lady who's also going to hypnotize you at the end of it. And I think it worked out quite well. So I think there is place in my realm, anyway, for both roleplay and hypnosis, and roleplay hypnosis, because let's be honest, how many of us started off trying to roleplay this shit and ended up hypnotized? I don't know about you, but that has happened to me a couple times. <laughs> but anyway, um, I was gonna say, I find the concept of quote-unquote defining real hypnosis to be quite tedious anyway, because there's still a lot of, um, research out there where the jury is out on what exactly hypnosis is anyway. Some people argue with me that it is, in fact, based on REM sleep, which, again, there are studies now to say that, yes, it is connected to that. But nothing is, like, 100% solid, and that's where the issues, I think, lie with this thing, right? Because we're all looking for that perfect trance experience, that hypnosis that works every single time, but the, the thing with that is brains are not hardwired that way. Brains are fickle, and that can be a struggle sometimes. So, real hypnosis, what the fuck is that? <laughs> and it's at this point, um, the people who don't like me saying swear words in my audios are going to turn this off and be thoroughly offended, so for you I am so, 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 so sorry, but not that sorry. <laughs> I do swear a lot, I'm, I'm only half sorry. But yeah, um, so for me, I think the best way to explore hypnosis and see whether or not it's real is how you feel about it. You see, we could categorize until the cows come home about what real hypnosis actually looks like. Like, does it have an induction? Followed by a deepener, followed by suggestions, and then uh, playing around, and then waking someone up and, and doing it all over again. Or does it look s different to that? Because, let's be honest, there's nothing more to me, in my mind, than keeping a proper structure about your session. I don't know what it is about a structured session that I find so debilitating. But that's that's where my head is at. So if you survived this little rant about hypnosis by now, maybe. Maybe you're like, but secret, are you going to do it to us now? And I'm like, mm. I mean, I could, couldn't I? I mean, I've already got the voice pretty much nearly there. And it's not often that I whisper into hypnosis. You see, I have a bit of a bee in my bonnet because somebody told me I wasn't good at ASMR. And now I've tried to spend, much to my doctor's chagrin, spend a lot of my time trying to perfect my technique because I want to show people that, in fact, one time, at least one fucking time I can do mediocre to somewhat decent ASMR. <laughs> I will prove it to someone. I don't even know who I'm proving it to at this point. Someone, someone out there who still thinks I'm bad at ASMR, which I am. They're, they're right. They're completely true. But <laughs> we need to at least make them think that I'm better at it than I was previously. But anyway, so sexy, sexy. <laughs>
hypnosis. <laughs> Hypnokink is fun, right? Or it's supposed to be. And in my mind, I find sometimes when we're spending too much time logic logicking about it, we lose the sexy, sexy joy of it all. And while I love educating people, because I do, I love educating people on this topic, I also think there is time and place for discussion and debate. But there's also time and place for not categorizing what you deem to be real hypnosis or not. Um, someone needs to needs to make memes about that. I think we need we always need more hypno memes. And I I got nothing on this one. Okay, <laughs> my meme my meme energy is run dry. But anyway, so since this video is already thoroughly demonetized because I've said the the. I've said fuck at least three times, and I've mentioned BDSM kink and being a femdom. I guess it's time to do some potentially hypnosis -y things. <sighs> you know, I'm so proud of you for sitting through all of that. <laughs> I, I'm not even joking. I'm very, very proud of you and anybody who likes my whisper voice. Is really gonna be eating good today because it's your lucky day. I've decided to show you the power of your own mind through thoroughly fractionating the evil of crap out of you. And if you don't know what fractionation is, what well, fractionation is the art of bringing someone in between two states. In this case, one being hypnosis and the other being not hypnosis, if you get my drift. So I want you to uh, do me a favor and just close your eyes real quick. If they're not closed already. If your eyes have been closed this entire time. And you're conditioned to the sound of my voice. I mean, you must be feeling something. <laughs> and for the rest of you, you probably have no idea what that means, but that's okay. Just, you've got your eyes closed, yeah? Good. And because your eyes are closed, you've already followed one of my suggestions, so that's nice for you, isn't that? And you see, the hypnosis is all about three key things, right? We're looking for three things. We're looking for suggestibility, which you've already proved to me. You've closed your eyes, and your eyes are still closed. I mean, you could open those eyes if you really, really wanted to, but they're just going to stay closed because you want to see where this is going, and you're curious as to what I'm going to do with you with your eyes closed. Absorption, which is a focus and fixation on a thing. And well, I particularly find that ASMR is very good for fixation inductions. Do you know why? Because when you whisper quietly like this, you are forcing somebody to focus on you. And you've been doing that this whole time. Let that sink in for a second. <laughs> dissociation, which is when you're so focused and so fixated on something that everything else fades away, and that's all it is. So right now you're already in a light state of trance, and that might be news to you, but that's okay. That's okay. When your eyes are closed, you're already in a light state of trance, because your eyes are closed, your focus is turned on your other senses, because your sight has been taken away for a second, with your eyes closed like that. That's right. So of course you forced to focus. Open those eyes. Now I want you to find a spot on the wall, or the screen, or the ceiling in front of you. Yeah, if you're lying down, you'd be looking up at the ceiling. No, that makes sense. Yeah, it does. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> me trying to trip myself up in the middle of my own induction. Clearly, this is a freestyle. Right. So once you've got that spot, I want you to focus and fixate on that for me. Can you do that? And of course, while you're focusing and fixating on that, you're also focusing and fixating on the whispers of my voice in your ears. That's right. Yes, you are. And while you focus and fixate on my voice, my delightful, delicious whispers working their way through your mind, you're also focusing and fixating on that spot. And I wonder, I wonder, if while you look at that spot, you can think about something for me. You see, I just want you to count down from ten with me, okay? <laughs> Easy, right? We can count down from ten. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Take a nice deep breath. Now 
this time we're going to count to ten again, okay? We're going to count down from ten, and this time on one. I want you to take that nice deep breath in and out, and I want you to close your eyes. Can you do that for me? That's right. Ready? Slowly. That's right. Slowly. Focus. Fixate on that spot. Count down. Ten. Nine. Eight. Keep counting. And with every single number that you count, down, 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 down. down. You can just focus and fixate, and you can just allow your to just focus on the counting of the numbers in the spot until you get all the way down to three, two, one. Close those eyes. Breathe deeply in and out. That's right. That's right. And it's funny, isn't it? Because when you breathe deep like that, your body naturally relaxes because it's telling your body that it's time to relax by breathing deep, deep, just like that. Just like that. And now I want you to open your eyes. And then the cycle repeats again. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Keep counting. Down, 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 down. Three, two, one. Close those eyes. That's right. Close those eyes and breathe deep. In and out. And this time we can make it a bit more fun. You see, on this time as I count down. Down, down, down. We're only going to start at five, five, four, three, two, one. And then your eyes are closed. Just like that, just like that, just like that. And every time we go through this process of counting down and relaxing, it's funny because as we count down with each and every single number, you can find yourself knowing what to expect. The expectation that the bottom of those numbers is an eyes closed, is a deep breath, is a relaxed feeling and you don't need to be relaxed to be hypnotized but well it does help sometimes to dissociate you so let's do it open your eyes five four three two one close those eyes breathe deep that's right that's right and it's nice isn't it to just follow my words follow my suggestions and just do nothing but allow the countdown to take you closing those eyes and relaxing closing those eyes and relaxing closing those eyes and relaxing and this time open those eyes i'm going to count down from three to one and then when i get to number one your eyes will close you will relax and this time on one i'm going to say the words and sleep and when i do you can just allow your mind to connect the dots and connect the feelings together and those who've seen hypnosis before know and sleep is a very powerful phrase and sleep is a very powerful word and when paired with a snap it both focuses your mind and also draws to your attention the fact that you are being hypnotized <laughs> three two one and sleep that's right and you can find yourself going to that place where you're just relaxing a little bit and maybe you just feel comfortable with your eyes closed maybe you just feel like the, your focus is shifting with your eyes closed, just like that. It's focusing inward and on my voice more and more. More and more on my words, more and more on my instructions. And that's how suggestibility kicking in, because you are following exactly what I want you to follow. Open your eyes, three, two, one, and sleep. That's right. That's right. That's right. And it's fun because the more we practice this method, the more we practice you going in and out of trance. And the more we practice you going in and out. Deep breath in. And out. The more we practice that, the more your body gets used to the feelings of trance. The more they deepen. Every single. Open your eyes, three, two, one, and sleep. Just like that, eyes closed, body relaxing, focus so intent on my words, on the feelings that you feel right now, and you can just scan your body, scan your body, figure out how you feel right now, as you scan your body and you focus on how you're feeling right now. And you focus on the sound of my voice, and you focus on the opening and closing of eyes, and you focus on the memory of the fractionation, the memory of going, counting down, 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 breathing deep, 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 that's right, every single time you focus on all these different things, you bring yourself back deeper, and deeper, and deeper, and deeper, and deeper, and deeper down, down. Snap 
apps are very important sometimes because they focus you. Focus. Yeah. <laughs> they focus the feelings. Like right now, you can feel the feelings of trance overwhelming you. Because this is hypnosis. Open your eyes. Three, two, one, and sleep. Every single time, you go deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper. Three, two, one, and sleep. And open those eyes. <laughs> and it's funny, isn't it? Because right now with your eyes open, you feel kind of awake, right? But what if I was to tell you a little secret? <laughs> Get it? Because I'm secret. I'm telling you a secret. It's funny. The secret is... I didn't tell you to wake up. Did I? I told you to open your eyes, but you are not awake. Let that sink in for a second. You are not awake. You are deeply hypnotized with your eyes open. For now. Three. Two. Hmm, never mind. <laughs> Should I? Should I really? Hmm, I don't know if I should. I think that maybe, maybe you have to say please first. Can you do that, sweetie? Can you say please secret? Hmm. <laughs> trigger right on the precipice of trance, sitting there right on the edge of trance. Mm, that's so mean, isn't it? That's so evil, isn't it? Good, I like that. Up, up, up. Eyes open. Come on now. <laughs> You thought I was going to give you that that easily? I don't think so. No, see, I, I want to kind of, I don't want to say this on YouTube, edge your trance. <laughs> now I'm thoroughly demonetized. Are you happy? You should be. It's going to be thoroughly worth it for this, I guarantee it. Because there's a countdown, down, down, down. You can find yourself with every single number just going closer and closer and closer to the precipice of trance and the closer you get to the precipice of trance, the more I'm edging. You, you get what I'm, I'm trying to say? Yeah, I'm edging your trance. Uh, right, yes. Yes, and this is thoroughly evil of me, and you can tell me I'm a big old meanie, and I'm an evil hypnotist. In fact, you should, you should tell me I'm an evil hypnotist. <laughs> I love it. I love hearing it. Thank you. I appreciate that. Right, and this time, I'm going to make it even more evil. You see, I'm going to count down from ten. I know, the numbers seem so far away from trance. You see, I know you thought 3, 2, 1 was 
evil, but wait, it can get worse. You see, with every single number, you can just imagine the trance. Imagine those feelings. I mean, you're already deeply hypnotized. You're not really that awake, even though you could protest if you wanted to. And you could probably wake yourself up if you wanted to, but you don't want to. And I'm playing on that feeling if you're not wanting to. Because you and I both know that you not wanting to is extremely useful to me. But it feels so good to be in trance, doesn't it? It feels so nice and relaxing. Where you don't have to think about anything but what I tell you to. And you can just allow yourself to give in to those temptations that you wanted this whole time. Because you wouldn't be here if you didn't want to be hypnotized. And because I can play on that, it's going to make this even more torturous. And I love that for you. <laughs> don't you? Ten. Every single number is a step closer, but it's still not close enough, is it? No. It's a bit of a tease. Nine. Every number just reminds you more and more of how much you want trance, doesn't it? Yeah. In fact, I'm going to suggest something to you. Think about it or don't. Maybe try not to think about how good it's going to feel when your eyes are closed and you're deeply, 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 deeply entranced for me. When all you have to do is listen to my voice and relax. No more thoughts. No more thinking. No more anything. Just my voice. And that delicious feeling of floating on it. But don't think about that because it will make this even worse. Eight. Seven. Six. Oh, I've spent up. Aren't you lucky? I'm taking pity on you. Five, four, three, two. <laughs> I don't think I want to give up that easily. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh no. You're definitely not more in trance than you were before. But wait. Five, four, three, two, one. Right there, right there, right there, right there, right there. And sleep, that's right. Deeper, deeper, down, 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 sleep. One, two, three, four, five, eyes open. That's right, you're back here with me, and this time, this time, I'm just going to play with the middle bits, okay? Five, four, three, two, one, stay there. You are so close to that deliciously deep trance. You're so close, you can almost taste it, can't you? You're literally right on the precipice, teetering right there. Oh, I bet that's nice. I bet it feels so confusing. Right there, sitting and waiting for that moment. That moment I snap. You tumble down halfway in, halfway out. And clever ones of you will get used to this feeling. Unless you're really good and ask me nicely, say. I want to see you say it more desperately. Say it like you mean it. Hmm. Say it like you mean it this time. Now. That's better. Sleep. That's right. So deep, so deep, so deep. It's like your world comes crashing down on you when you hear that word, that delicious little word, spilling out of my lips. You love to hear me say it, don't you? Not yes for me, yes. Very good. You are 
are so good at following suggestions, you know that? I really enjoy the way you respond to the things that I tell you. Because you're so good. <laughs> you are so good. You can just feel a wave of happy bliss knowing that you've pleased me. You've been very pleasing today. <laughs> and now I'm super demonetized because I've said pleasing and edging in the same audio. Damn, damn, damn. But anyway, enough memeing. It's time to wake you up properly this time. It's time to wake you up on the count of ten. Going back up, 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 up to yourself, no longer hypnotized, and knowing that that phrase and sleep will only work when I say it to you. Or, or when spoken to you by somebody you trust in a place that is safe and comfortable for you to do so in a time that feels appropriate, do you understand? Yes, you do. Very well. Coming up on the count of ten with one, two, three. Energy starting to flood your body with four, five, six. That's right. Feeling your body move a little bit more. That's right. With seven, eight, nine on the next number. Wide awake alert. Refresh and enters with ten. Wide awake. <laughs> Hello there. Well, now that you've been hopefully thoroughly fractionated. Um, I hope you enjoyed this little ramble. This has been uh, like a little unedited freestyle ramble moment. If you like this um, little ramble that then turns into like a hypno session, please let me know in the comments below. <laughs>